returning to our forecast as Mainers get another celestial sight in our skies this week. That's right. I know it feels like every week, right? Right. This yeah. is like the gift that keeps giving. Oh, I know. We're so lucky. <laughs> I know. The universe really just shining on us, right? With yes. all these literally different yeah. <laughs> celestial happenings. We had the aurora visible, you know, in the past week and now we've got this planetary smiley face coming up tomorrow morning. Okay, what is that? At first yes. I thought this was like some kind of fake thing, right? right? When I saw I know. the picture. <laughs> and I will say in reality, you know, it's not going to be a perfect smile okay. that's <laughs> dramatic in the sky or anything like that. But I still think it's going to be pretty cool. Oh my cool. gosh, I love it. I know. Isn't well, this kind like of the exciting? two eyeballs, yes. yeah. I know, yeah. So <laughs> two planets, Venus and Saturn. And the moon, which is currently a crescent, it's in its waning phase, so getting closer to the new moon will form the mouth of the smile with, of course, the planets being the eyes. So let's talk about how this is going <laughs> to play out tomorrow morning. This is going to happen just before sunrise. So you'll, you will have to wake up pretty early to see this. And it's only going to last about half an hour. So uh, if you want to see it, make sure you set that early alarm. So it starts out before sunrise. This is the easy part. You'll see Venus very easily. It will be very bright. It's the brightest planet in our skies. And so it should be you know, the brightest star in the eastern horizon as we head into early tomorrow morning. Of course, the moon probably going to be pretty easy to see as well with that crescent uh, also on the horizon. After that, that's when we might run into an issue. We have Saturn. That's the other planet in the planetary smiley face here. <laughs> the problem is it's going to be a bit dimmer okay. than Venus. It's not going to be quite as bright, so it's going to be like a little wonky. A little wonky. One one eye is going to be super bright. The other eye is going to be kind of dim. Winking. So They're winking. It's, it's kind yeah. of a, yeah. almost awake. Like, like the smiley wink. face is really just waking up. Yeah. Like, like, oh, I don't know where boy. I am right now. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> exactly. So first Venus, then Saturn, and then for about 30 to 45 minutes, we'll have this sort of lopsided 90 degrees to the right okay. smile. So it's not going to be right. vertical, but if you turn your head to the side, there we go. you should be able to see it pretty easily. And so again, 30 to 45 minutes before sunrise in the eastern sky, sunrise tomorrow morning, 5.43 a.m. So huh? 5 to around 5.40, okay. probably your best window to see this. And here's uh, what, uh, what else we're expecting with this. Again, it's in the eastern sky. It's going to be very low on the horizon with the best view somewhere that's unobstructed. Mm -hmm. So think along the coastline. I would think that beaches looking out over the water would probably have a great view of this. Anywhere that has some elevation to maybe like Bradbury Mountain, something mm -hmm. like that. Uh, something with an unobstructed eastern view, even a lake or an open field might not be bad for this. Just want to make sure the trees, you know, on the other side of the field are not too tall. So that would block your view. And it will be in the same area of the sky as the sunrise. So make sure you don't hurt your eyes because once that sun comes up, later, yeah, yeah, you don't want to be looking directly at it. So just something to keep in mind. And here's a depiction of what it might look like on the horizon. Again, one bright eye, one dim eye, <laughs> and then the moon down to the bottom left there. And that will make it sort of a lopsided smiley face. So again, it's not going to be the most dramatic, you know, amazing thing, but I think it should still be pretty cool out there tomorrow morning. As long as the clouds cooperate, there are going mm. to be some clouds around tonight. Uh, I'm hoping, though, we'll get enough breaks at this or around uh, the time this is happening tomorrow morning to be able to see it. So. Well, first question I'm thinking of is, first of all, does this have some kind of scientific day? Because it's just planetary I, I smiley thought, yeah. face. Yes. I love it. Well, that's the fun way to <laughs> yeah. say it. It's a conjunction of the uh, planets with the moon is the more science. Boring. Boring. Right. <laughs> yeah, we want to hear smiley face. Yes. Come on. So, Grinning ear to ear. It reminds me of the, the horror movie Smile yes. a little bit. Yes. Um, well, Eastern Prom, that might be a That's good spot, That's what I was right? thinking. Yeah. Yep. And again, like anywhere along the beaches, maybe Portland Headlight might be oh, a good spot to beautiful. see this as well, you know. The lighthouse and yeah. the smiley oh, face. that would I be so be nice. Cool. Yeah, and you said great spot, Bradbury Mountain, because it's nice mm -hmm. and dark. Yes, there. and you yeah. can look to the east. You can actually see yep. Casco Bay from the top mm -hmm. of it. So. All right, and we'll check, keep an eye on our sky cams. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so hopefully tomorrow morning, maybe we can get a time lapse of it coming that up or something great. like that. Yeah. So we'll work on it. We'll, yeah. we'll keep an eye on it. And don't forget, put on a happy face. <laughs> That's <laughs> yeah. right. And Friday, smile. So yeah, tomorrow's Friday. And it's on a Friday too, right? What a nice treat from the skies. Well, if you've got any weather-related or space-related questions you'd like to ask our Weather Authority team, you can email us at weather at wgme.com.